Hi there. In this video we're going to look at adding and subtracting fractions. First thing with fractions is if we're not using a calculator we need to obtain the same denominator in the fractions in order to add them or subtract them. So if we've got one fifth plus three quarters before we can add those two fractions we need two fractions that are equivalent to one fifth and three quarters um, such that the denominator is the same and then we just add the numerators. So uh, the easiest way to do this is to look at the denominators. We've got fifths and quarters and if you multiply those two together you get 20. So what we want to do is find two equivalent fractions that are twentieths. So one fifth what is that as twentieths? Well, we're actually multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by four. So four twentieths is an equivalent fraction to one fifth. Likewise with three quarters, if we multiply the numerator and the denominator by five, we get 15 twentieths. So now we've found two fractions that are equivalent to one fifth and three quarters. Denominator is the same, so we can just add the numerators. So four plus 15 is 19 twentieths. So four twentieths plus 15 twentieths is equal to 19 twentieths. So one fifth plus three quarters is 19 twentieths. Let's do this subtraction here. We have five sixths minus two fifths. Again, we want the denominators to be the same. So six and five, or sixths and fifths. Uh, if we multiply those two together, we get thirtieths. So we're going to find equivalent fractions that are thirtieths. Essentially, that denominator should be um, the lowest common multiple between the two denominators. So 5 6 is the same as, actually multiplying those two by 5, is the same as 25 thirtieths. We're subtracting 2 fifths. We're multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 6. So 2 fifths is the same as 12 thirtieths. So 25 thirtieths minus 12 thirtieths is equal to 13 thirtieths. So it's good to know that concept without using the calculator because that will come into play when you do algebra. However, when we're just solving number problems um, with fractions, we can use the fraction button on the calculator. So I've got another question here. 2 and 3 fifths plus 1 and 5 eighths. On my calculator, this is the fraction button here. So the FD button, oh, sorry, the ABC button. The FD button converts a fraction to a decimal and vice versa. So what I'm going to do is just enter this sum here. So 2 and 3 fifths. So 2, ABC button, 3, ABC button again, 5. So I've entered 2 and 3 fifths plus 1, ABC, 5, ABC, 8. So I've entered this sum, this sum here, into my calculator. Execute. I get 169 over 40. So 169 fortieths. If I change that to a mixed number, uh, so back to my calculator, if I go shift ABC, oops, uh, maybe if I go FD, that'll change it to a decimal, shift FD, yeah, so shift FD changes it to um, a mixed number, so 4 and 9 fortieths. It is a matter of just having a little play around with these buttons here, the ABC button, FD button and shift. So 4 and 9 fortieths.
Okay, let's have a look at some word problems. So Jack and Jill ordered two pizzas. So we've got two pizzas, two whole pizzas. Jack ate three fifths of one and Jill ate five eighths of the other. What fraction is left? So the fraction we're looking for is the fraction over both pizzas. So if that refers to two holes, two holes, that is two whole pizzas, pizzas times two. We are subtracting how much Jack ate, so he ate three fifths. And we're also subtracting from those two whole pizzas, five eighths. So it's like combining one minus three fifths and one minus five eighths. So let's just plug that into, it, into the calculator. So two minus three fifths minus five eighths equals thirty one fortieths. So we have thirty one fortieths pizza left. Okay, the next question. We've got a ten litre container of diluted weed killer which has a small tap in it and it's five eighths full at the moment. So if you can imagine like, um, I don't know, a container that sort of looks like this, kind of, and then you've got a little tap here, and then it's five eighths full, so sort of about there, this is five eighths full. And um, the rest of the question says, we've got three smaller spray bottles, each one litre in volume, um, they will be filled from the weed killer liquid in the 10 litre container. What fraction of the 10 litre container contains the liquid after three spray bottles are filled? So if this whole container is 10 litres, okay, that whole container is 10 litres, this, each of these are one litre. So if I were to, if that was fully filled, if I were to fill one spray bottle, I'm actually taking one tenth of that 10 litre container. So I actually need, because one of the sprayer bottles is one tenth, then three, three of those sprayer bottles would be three tenths of the full container. So at the moment, I know that my container is 5 eighths full and I'm going to fill my three sprayer bottles so I'm subtracting from the 5 eighths 3 tenths. So you do need to come up with that sort of sum. So plug that straight into the calculator. So 5 eighths minus 3 tenths equals 13 fortieths. So what fraction of the 10 litre container contains the liquid after the spray bottles are filled? 13 fortieths um, is the fraction of liquid left. Of liquid left. Okay, one more question. If the container is less than one quarter full, it needs to be refilled. It doesn't need refilling. So one quarter, we know, is one quarter, looks like that. At the moment, um, the container is 13 fortieths full. So we are comparing one quarter to 13 fortieths. So if this is less than that, then it needs to be refilled. So we need to find out, is 13 fortieths less than one quarter? Well, we could change these into decimals. So one quarter we know is 0 0.25, which is 25%. 13 fortieths, let's change that to a decimal. So 13 divided by 40 equals 0.325 which is 32.5% so 
um, 13 fortieths is not less than one quarter, so it doesn't need refilling. Um, so it doesn't need refilling. No, 13 fortieths is not less than one quarter.